Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Maya. I make videos about luxury skincare and beauty and today's video is about the proper ways to take care of your skincare. So your skincare takes care of you, but there's a lot of things you need to do to really help maintain your skincare and make sure you maximize the longest shelf life possible for your skincare. And this video was inspired by actually another YouTuber who popped up on my uh, watch next feed and she was holding, you guys, she was holding six or seven Biologique Recherche face creams and I literally, like a little tear just like came out of my eye and like, I was like, oh my gosh, like I just, I'm not that person that will like comment something negative on someone's video or like give someone advice. It's not my place um, <laughs> to tell people what to do with their lives and how they wanna take care of their skin or you whatever, use whatever products. But I just thought, okay, maybe this is like a good learning opportunity for everyone. <laughs> and not that I am the expert in everything. I'm not an esthetician or a dermatologist. Um, I am just a passionate person about luxury skincare, especially Biologique Recherche. I've been using it over three years and I wanted to just share kind of, um, I guess there are tips to really maintain your skincare uh, just so you get the longest shelf life possible. And yes, <laughs> let's start. So first of all, I just want to say the video really prompted me to stop in my tracks because this woman had six or seven uh, containers of all of the different skincare products Biologique Recherche makes. Probably not all of them, but a good amount of them, probably at least $1,500 worth of face creams. The first thing I just want to mention that these face creams, they almost every single one of the ones made by Bi Biologique Recherche has a six month shelf life upon opening. And to see the shelf life on the packaging, you look for the tiny little, I guess it's like a little bottle and it typically has a number inside of it. So when you look for this bottle, you know, as soon as I open this product, as soon as oxygen is let into my product, that's when it starts to degrade and lose its efficiency. And with that being said, I wouldn't base it off the expiration date. Of course, use your product before this expiration date. Give yourself, you know, a six month period to use it up before that day. But with the little number on the back, that's your rule of thumb of how long and to keep your product. Now, that being said, I'm not the kind of person that I would buy <laughs> uh, six or seven creams to have on my shelf to then expire in six months. One of these bottles containers lasts me at least six months, if not longer, and I've stretched it past six months before, but I know I'm not gonna get through this uh, product in a couple months. So that being said, as of now, I'm actually not using any of my Biologique Recherche creams during the day and I'm gonna make a separate January's favorites video for you guys but I have Creme Derma Purifiant and Creme ISO Placenta these are recent purchases both purchased in mid-December so I know I have six months because I've already opened them six months to use up these products and then I will toss them if I don't use them up I, I personally will toss them about eight to nine months after, but six months, I know I'm gonna get the maximum use of these products. And that being said, I'm not using these creams right now during the day because everything is yeast-based and you don't wanna use anything with yeast underneath a mask when you're wearing a mask. So I'm only using these creams when I'm actually not wearing a mask, which, during the daytime, I, I do run a lot of errands, so that's not often. Okay, so Lay VIP 2 also a six month shelf life upon opening. This product, I, I love this product, it's great for my skin. Uh, my husband tried it, I tried it on him too, and he said it burned his skin. So it, 
you know, with that being said, I just opened this in December, mid-December, when I did all my little hauls around the holidays, and I have six months to use that product. This is one of the longer shelf lives uh, lotion P50. I, I use 1970. It has a 12 month expiration. Um, I also opened this mid December. So I buy the bigger bottles of Le VIP O2 and lotion P50 because I know I'm going to get through the product. These are the biggest sizes they carry. You can buy one in three ounces. I think another one is 1.7 ounces. But if you are new to the brand, buy the smaller size because you wanna really see if you're gonna like this product before investing in the full size. And that's actually a lot of money to waste, you know, buying a full size product and knowing, oh no, I'm not going to use it. Okay. Another shocker for you guys, Mask Vivant has a six month shelf life. So as soon as you open it, you have six months to use this. And I will say this is a really hard mask to use up in six months. So be cautious about the products you're buying because, you know, a lot of them have a really fast, fast shelf life. And it's really not good to use products after their you know open shelf life date because oxygen is getting in there any of the creams you're dipping your finger in there you know there's a lot of sanitary reasons bacteria start, can start growing and you know you really want to get the most efficiency from those ingredients while they're still fresh so a lot of these products None of these products have preservatives in them. Biologique Recherche does not use preservatives. So you need to really be smart about what you're buying to use it up within that time frame. The quintessential serums from Biologique Recherche, also a six month shelf life. I don't purchase the one ounce size of these anymore because I have found that I can't use up this much product in six months and then another their finishing serums on average are about nine month shelf life upon opening this is the renovator number 14 great little product I'm gonna do another video doing um, explaining this one in depth but nine month shelf life these are really hard to use up they're one fluid ounce but I have found that the finishing serums take a lot of time to use up and I have to use more than the recommended dosage to really, uh, you know, use up that quantity in, in nine months. Another product, nine months solution, Demo Qual, <laughs> I'm butchering this, I'm sorry, Demo Qualant pour les yeux, uh, nine months. Le Oxygenant is 12 months. So these are all products, you guys, that I've purchased. I'm buying smaller sizes in products that are new for me, if that's available. And I also wanna mention, if that product is not available on one vendor's website, double check that a smaller size is not available on other vendors' websites, because oftentimes I shop at Vicky Marov the most, but sometimes I have to go to Seppi Spa or Joanna Czech or Rescue Spa to find the smaller version of my favorite Biologique Recherche product when I'm repurchasing. So with that being said, I wanna show you guys, I have all of my Biologique products here in this little basket that I wanted to share with you guys how I'm labeling my products. I use just a little Sharpie and you, if you're OCD like me, <laughs> you can go and get your label maker out and do this yourself. And I'm doing this specifically for my Biologique Recherche products because I know there is no preservatives at all in any of these packages. And I just wanna get the most like potency from my products and you know, if I need to repurchase them, then I will. But I am labeling everything the day I open it. So I know, and that's just a clear reminder that I opened this December 11th, 2020, and that's how long I have to use it. I have a year. So next Christmas time, I will 
I honestly will use this up in three, four months because I use a lot of P50, but with that, yes. A lot of the masks are really hard for me to use up in a six month time frame because I like to rotate different masks. But my two favorite, Mask Visolastine Plus and Mask VIP O2, both have the, actually I'm sorry, Mask VIP O2 has a six month shelf life. Mask Visolastine Plus has a nine month shelf life. So as I, I have not opened the VIP O2, but I did put the date I opened this on New Year's, Mask Visolastine Plus. So as soon as these are open, I'm actually going to try to use Mask VIP O2 more frequently than Visolastine just because I want to make sure I'm using up my product. This Mask Vivant is actually, I put a question mark here as I was going through this to make this video. I don't remember where I bought this. I don't remember when I bought this. I know I bought it sometime last year. I know it has a six month shelf life. I know I'm past it, but there's just a tiny bit left that I'm gonna use up and then get rid of it. And then my creams, I just wanna share with you guys, both opened mid-December. I was completely out of everything. So I did a major haul in mid-December. I have the dates written on there, but for my creams going forward and for all of my brands of creams that I'm using, I'm actually using these disposable one-time use spatulas that I have in my medicine cabinet for any time I use a cream. Because I've noticed that, you know, I'm the kind of person that I'm always running around doing things and sometimes I forget to wash my hands with like antibacterial soap or, you know, I could be touching something, doing laundry, and then go to do my skincare, I just forget. So this is just like a new habit I'm starting to use these disposable spatulas. You don't have to buy these spatulas. You can always buy Q-tips or like popsicle sticks. You can just buy something that's like kind of sterile, semi-sterile, better, <laughs> better something like this than your hands because you know we're touching a lot of things. Um, so yeah, even with Solution Dermacoilant Pour Les Yeux, I'm using fresh cotton pads for each time I'm applying. And that's kind of a given, but I've also seen people like take some of their eye makeup off and then reapply some of their eye makeup remover to the pad. And that's not very sanitary. So you wanna really be careful with that. And also, when I was on the phone with Victoria, I asked her, what is the best method to store your Biologic Recherche products? Do we need a skin fridge? Do we need to keep the AC on at home all the time? And Victoria said that no, it does not matter what environment or climate you're in, as long as you're not like in the hot, hot tropic jungle, 100 year around, as long as you're in kind of a semi-stable environment, you are fine keeping your products out on the counter, wherever, away from direct sunlight. So that being said, I keep everything in my medicine cabinet and I do have an additional shelf in my closet that I've turned into a, my little skincare area, but everything's away from sunlight. Um, we, I'm in Los Angeles, so it is semi-humid here, but I have been using Biologic for three years, over three years, and I have found that it works just fine you know, keeping everything outside of the fridge. So yes. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video about all of my little tips on how to take care of your skincare that takes care of you. If you're new here, subscribe and like this video so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.